Hey guys, Janice Vaughn, letting your light shine. Thank you all so much for joining me. All right, so tonight I wanted to talk about um, how people always say after they're in a relationship with a narcissist, they will never find love again. They will never get into a relationship again because why? You're tarnished, we're tarnished. So we sit there and go, never again. I'm gonna be single for the rest of my life. I'm not gonna, you know, get into any relationship forever and ever and ever. Don't do that to yourself. Please don't, please don't. There are so many people out there that would love to treat you nicely, okay? Um, so I did that same thing. I was like, you know what, I'm done. All right, I'm gonna be 55 in July. I'm good, I'm good. I'm strong, I'm independent. I'm gonna be single the rest of my life, but you know what? I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> too many great things have happened in my life. So you know what? I'm just taking the bull by the horns and just running with it. I'm just embracing life and just living my happiness. Do not please limit yourself. Okay. So if we, if we judge the next person in our lives, like we judge the narcissist as in judging to the point that you're an asshole, you're a this, you're a bitch, you're whatever. That does not mean that your new person is that way. So if you continue to have these limits because you've been hurt, you are not opening the door for greatness. You are not allowing that new person to just walk through those doors. And I'm gonna tell you guys, <laughs> it happens when you least expect it. <laughs> Don't look because when you don't look, you find. It's like, what is going on right now? All right, so do not say, please, that you're never going to be in love again because you're gonna put a, a block around your own heart. Your heart is there for a reason. Your heart is there to love. It is there to be gracious and, and kind to other people. And when you do that, you're reciprocating back so much more to yourself. So you're actually manifesting the best life you can ever have by having a kind, loving, open heart. Don't put a wall around your own heart and soul just because you feel, okay, you feel that the narcissist damaged you. No, take your power back. <laughs> Stop. The narcissist don't have that much control over us. All right, we get to say who, we get to say when, we get to say how, we get to say why. So you putting up a wall and limiting your self-beliefs because you've been hurt, you are doing yourself zero justice. Don't do that to yourself, okay? Manifest the best thing that you could ever have in your life and that is the love for yourself. The more that you open your heart to yourself, the more you're gonna find that people just come into your life out of nowhere. Like, I, <laughs> I, I just, you know, I gotta I got share with you guys because this, this just brought up a topic. So today, I don't know what it was today. It was windy as hell in Arizona, but I'm sitting here going, what is happening right now? I have these friends and these friends of friends and, you know, some past clients and they're like, all of a sudden today, I'm like, oh my God, I can't even keep track. You guys know I cannot go out on date with you on Saturday night. I already have plans with my girlfriends. And I'm sitting here going, oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's crazy. I have these people that just are showing up in my life and they are so loving and so kind and so generous and they make me laugh. And I, I my cheeks hurt because I laugh so much these days. You guys, you have no idea. And I don't want to date all these people. I just don't. I just want to like continue to live my life and be happy. But yeah, I've gone on a few dates and it's been pretty good. <laughs> there's, there's a few that's been really good actually, but I love it. There's no ties, but I'm still in my moment. I'm in my element. I'm, I'm where Janice needs to be. That's all I care about. And the people that are in my life, respect that. And, uh, I had a friend over 
today and he he brought me lunch and just out of the blue like hey we're gonna show up and bring you lunch and you know cooks for me and cleans and all this stuff and I'm just like where'd you come from but you know what I'm not in a relationship with anybody right now but myself because that is where my heart is and the importance of just loving myself is so crucial but by loving myself I'm opening the doors to so much and I cannot encourage you guys enough to focus on you first. Oh my gosh, I sit there and I, I'm watching myself in these videos and I'm just like, I smile all the time. You guys, I never smiled like this. You have no idea. A year ago, I was in the bed, covers over my head, um, crying, mascara running down my cheeks because I just couldn't take the abuse anymore from the narcissist. You know what, but I chose that. I chose to hide underneath the covers. I'm not doing that anymore. My light is shining. I'm in, I, I'm just going to do me and that's all that, that I care about right now. So if you can just focus on you and do you, all right, my best friend gave me that mug. You guys have seen it. it says you do you girl. And that is sitting in my Keurig that I never use because I use the old coffee maker and all that crap. But it sits there every morning. I look at that and I smile kind of give it a wink and go yeah you do you girl right so do whatever it takes to make your heart smile do not subject yourself to the lower elevation or vibration levels of a narcissist or toxic person in your life they are nothing to you they don't define who you are you define who you are because you are full of greatness, you are full of happiness, you are full of joy, you are full of giving, you are full of love and, and just embracing every positive aspect of your life. Do not give that away to appease a narcissist. I did that for far too long. I gave my joy away. I did, I gave it away. He took it from me and I allowed him to. So that is why I gave it away. When you stop allowing people to suck the happiness out of you, you become this new creation and you become this person that um, embraces life and wakes up every morning and just, just shines their light. I cannot encourage you guys enough to just love you first. Everything else, is going to just follow you because now you're emulating this beautifulness about you which only attracts more beautiful around you all right hence the reason i named my channel letting your light shine because i believe that we can all shine our light if we shine our light like we do on our cell phones at a concert the power is amazing, but you're fulfilling your own, your own soul. You're not giving it to somebody else. You do you. All right. Love and light to every one of you. I love you all so much. You guys, I'm so blessed. You have no idea. I keep saying that, but I'm going to keep saying that. <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you so much for all your love, light, and support. Back at ya. All right. Thank you.